Hello there, and welcome to another episode of our Final Fantasy 16 Let's Play. My name is Slytherin Knight, and I am so happy you could join me. So, in this episode, um, well, we've just finished up, you know, a pretty big part, um, destroyed another of the Mother Crystals. So in this episode, um, we're going to take a little bit of R&R &R and take care of, well, as you can see, there's a lot of new stuff um, a lot of new notifications throughout the uh, hideaway. We're going to check those out. And we're also going to uh, knock out these uh, little side quests. Cut from the cloth and the root of the problem. We're going to take care of those. And if we have time, we may go and actually start after the storm proper. You know, start it, start it up. So that is the plan for today. Uh, yeah, let's let's get to it. Very interested in, in the new things that that hearing, Karen has for us. And what can I do for you? Let's see. Coin purse weighing you down. Ooh, new sword. Um, just a five, five, in, uh, a five in each improvement. No, that's not worth it. Uh, though the armor might be. Though we might be able to, I might, you know, because we have the guild to spend, I might go ahead and purchase this and just upgrade it from, yeah, I'll check. Though that's actually not as good as our mithril, as our mithril, okay, cool. Uh, additionally, automatically charge magic spells, and on, no, limit break, no, okay. They'll always be there if we need them. You'll not find a better price than that. You're rubbing me blind, you know. You'll not find a there. better price than that. Come again. So she's got some oh, new God. armor for us. I'm not much bothered either way. I'm guessing Blackthorn will have the same. Life. So would it be? Yeah, platinum sword plus one. Oh, that takes liquid flame. Oh, okay. Well, that's what that takes. As does the oof. Okay. Okay. That's good to know. But we lose health. We don't I mean we're not we're not gaining a whole lot of health from those. Okay. Uh yeah, we'll go ahead. That takes a lot of sharp fang. Jeez. Um I hate that I can't see what a plus two is. Because I would really rather not. Well, let's go ahead and make it. It lost you a good while. Oh, is that it? Oh, here. Wow. That's just yeah, straight worse. Okay, we won't be making that then. However, the belt. The belt is a direct increase. So yeah, we'll go ahead and make the belt. It's gonna use up one of our liquid flame, but that's fine. Not bad, if I do say so myself. Nice. Yeah, that should do you. There we go. There's that. That it. Fine. That should be all. I mean, that should be all we need, right? It's under gear. Yeah. That's that's disappointing, but I guess that I guess it makes sense. So there's that, and that is yeah a direct upgrade, and we've had that demon tamer, tamer sash for a while, so it was it was time for an upgrade. Awesome. So that is that done quick enough. I don't know why I check this all the time. It's not. I'm mean, I'm curious as to what that is, but I'm sure that's. That most likely has to do with once you beat the game. Let's just see what the new. So yeah, Drake's breath is a new is the new stage. Okay, cool. And I'm assuming the liquid flame isn't. You can refight the liquid flame. So that's good. Um, what else? What else? What else was I wanting to look at? Well, I want to see. I do want to see what's on the hunt board. Um, depending on what's there, we might actually take care of that along with the side quests, but. We'll see. 
Like I said, I'm curious, curious to see what it is. But first, let's go ahead and grab this, uh, this uh, side quest. Oh, bother. Whatever am I to do now, Clive? About what? I have two dresses that need stitching, but I haven't got a scrap of linen. Those girls' racks are so threadbare. It's a wonder they don't fall to pieces. And we most certainly cannot have that. A certain amount of decorum must be maintained, even here at the hideaway. You wouldn't want the poor things going without decent clothes now, would you? Uh, of course not. Of course not. What can I do to help? Oh, aren't you a dear? You see, I've paid for two bolts of cloth from the drapers in Northreach, blue and red. But they don't deliver, not to places that aren't on the map anyway, so I'll need someone to take this receipt and collect them. Easy enough. And you'd have this someone be me. I would. And don't let them fob you off with anything less than what I paid for. One bolt of blue and one of red. I expect them both. Easy enough. We'll go take care of that. They said they'd give us new clothes. We'll take care of that in a second. Like I said, I wanted to check this. Just want to see what the new one is. Or potentially new. F several new ones. Two. So we have a Minotaur. Uh, west of Rhiannon's Ride, Rosaria. Okay. And then one of those. Both of them B rank. That's what the griffin was, and that's what that was. That wasn't a too hard of a fight, so we might take care of those as well. So we have that, Rosaria, and again, north of Sorrowwise, Rosaria. Both of them in Rosaria, so that yeah, we'll yeah, we should be able to take care of that. Not too not too bad. Probably have some new stuff to pick up here. Welcome to the patron's whisper. Come to claim your just desserts. Nice. Um a rose is a rose orchestration roll, which I assume is a uh, thing for the jukebox. And an empty shard. Okay. But anyway, a swell in chorus. It used to be it used to be I would step into a tavern only to find myself overwhelmed with requests to sing the Dia sing of Dion the Bold or the I'm sorry, I'm not very good with French. That and the serving girl. But now all anyone wants to hear is hear of is Sid the Outlaw. You have made me a very rich man, my friend. Cool. Here you are. I'm sure that empty shard will come in handy at some point. Okay, cool. Come again. I may have more for you. That's that. Let's go ahead and check on the state of the realm as well while we're here. I'm just purely curious. And how may I assist you today? Allow me to educate you. Oh, that's right. You actually have to do this. No, no, I don't really want to look into that. Very good. That's just that's just information. If we ever need something like, hey, I don't remember this type stuff. Okay. Man, they really need to make some fast travel available inside the hideaway. Because I want to go grab that other quest too. Because I'm sure it's going to send us somewhere. So, might as well grab it. But yeah, those two... Um, two little uh, notorious marks shouldn't be too bad. So maybe this will be another episode of side quests and notorious marks. Probably. Because I'm sure it's going to take me just a little bit longer than I think it's going to. Got to find them, after all. Uh, Sid, I... I know that when we came to the hideaway, we chose to let go of our past in order that we might focus on our future. We did. Nonetheless, I was wondering if... Well... I know you are from Rosaria, and I'm in need of someone with intimate knowledge of those lands. 
Apparently, the duchy is home to all manner of curative herbs found nowhere else in the realm. Among them is a flower called a Morgan beard that increases the potency of lesser medicines. I can't say that I've had much practice healing. My youth was spent in the Bailey. A shame. You see, the hideaway relies heavily upon medicines procured from afar. And when those shipments are late, well, it's our sick who suffer. If we could find this flower and learn to grow it here, we might save many lives. However, as you are well aware, Imperial occupation has rendered the roads unsafe for those like me, untrained in the military arts. Now, I'm not asking the busiest man in the hideaway to drop everything and make the journey for me, but if you happen to be in the duchy on other business... Which we will be. Oh yeah, of course. Tell me of these Morgan beards, then. But of course. If my old tomes are to be believed, the flowers are bright yellow and as large as goblins' eyes. Oh, and they grow in the marshes of sorrow eyes. Well, we definitely will be there. If I am to propagate them here in the backyard, I will require several samples, preferably of blooms which have already gone to seed. And before I forget, I do seem to recall learning in the course of my research that their odor has the tendency to attract unsavory creatures nothing you cannot handle though i'm sure probably those plant monsters or maybe even goblins interesting okay hmm. all right well we have we have our we have our uh, missions. Let's go take care of them. So we need North Reach, which is—is is that all the way over here? It is. Okay, good. So just right in here. We'll take care of this one first. Yeah, we'll go ahead and take care of this one first. Because I'm hoping it's just a wham bam. There you go. Look at this place. Let's hope the Draper has Hortensis cloth. Might I interest you in some swan's down? Perhaps some seersucker or herringbone? Just some linen. Two bolts. Already paid for in full. Apologies, my lord. But your items aren't here. They were due to arrive on a caravan from Bocklad, but there's been little traffic on the road these past few days. My mother thinks it might be bandits, but she always thinks it's bandits. It usually is. So I assume the caravan will be coming from the south? Yes, hopefully carrying all manner of spice and sundries. Wait, you aren't thinking of... Going to find it. That's exactly what I'm thinking. Oh, well then... Be safe? <laughs> yeah, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. Ready, go? Yeah! Because of course it couldn't be that easy. And I just remembered, we don't have Jill in our party at the moment, so that's gonna be, that could be interesting. All right. Not interested in taking on some fodder. Not right now. So naturally, a noble is getting all upset, I assume, because the bird may have clucked at him. Sounds about right. Who's gonna buy my wares now? State your animals left them in. But they hardly damage us all. 
Is there something wrong? If you're a bandit come to steal my stuff, you're going to be sorely disappointed. And all thanks to this fool. But it, it was you who stepped into my path. Only after that feather brain trampled me. Uh-huh, sure. I demand recompense, be it in coin or the items you carry. Refuse, and I shall report you to the garrison and see you hanged. Uh, these, these goods are expected in Northreach. I mean, they're not mine to give away. You wouldn't happen to be on your way from Boklad, would you? I, I, I am, but um, did someone from the market send you? Please, please, you have to help me. I, I can pay whatever you ask. So the fool has protection and coin too. Sorry, friend, but we'll be the ones taking it. We'll right. kill her. It's time to collect. So yeah, bandits. This is a scheme. I told you not to call me that, and we'd have already collected if you hadn't insisted we'd put on this little. Yeah, act. saw that coming. Bandits. As I told one of your customers, it usually is. Let's get this over with. I'll deal with the bird lover. You take the handsome one, killer. Stop calling me that. That went rather well. But then again, easy enemy, so. All right, all right. You made your point. Killer my ass. Uh, we should take him out too. Yeah, you. He's a bandit. No, no, thankfully. He seemed intent on letting the bandit do his dirty work for him. And he would have succeeded had the great lender not sent you. My shipment is safe, and my livelihood with it. You must allow me to reward you. We can speak of that once you're safe in Northreach. I'll accompany you there. So you and my mother were right. It is always bandits. <laughs> and were it not for the kindness of our free sword here, you'd be buying your order back from them at twice the price. Now, if you don't mind, I have a pressing appointment at the Vale before my return to Boklad. <laughs> Farewell. Of course, uh, I'm sure you do. I'm sure you do, my friend. Oh, I almost forgot. I suppose you'd be wanting your linen. You'll be happy to know both bolts arrived safely along with the rest of the delivery. I've also added a few extra lengths of our finest fabrics to the bundle. Free of charge? Why, thank you. It's very kind. Are you sure. It's very kind of you. My mother would insist. It's the least we can do for the man who saved our shipment. Well, thank you. How's that done then? Now it's back to Hortense with her cloth. 
Well, eventually. First, we have to take on stuff in here. Okay, so, let's see. This is Sorrowise over here. That's where we have that to take care of. And there is a, um, a, uh, one of the notorious marks in there. And the other was off, where were you? Right here, in this area. Okay, so Martha's Rest is a good is a good spot for both of them. Cool, and we can resupply our potions should we need to when we get back. It's actually very helpful because this way I have a, a marker to get to uh, for the first one. The other one's just heading north. Sticking with us. Those of us who are still here have to look after each other. This will be interesting to see how much harder it is without Jill. I don't think it'll be that bad, but you never know. might be the easiest way just to go here go through here like I said I don't really need to fight any of these lower level guys like level 19 I'm, that's 10 levels under me no thanks come on stay away well she's near the abbey is certainly damp Let's see if they're damp enough for Morgan beards. Well, we have some goblins, so probably. see any more. Oh, well, looky there, big boy. Oh, excuse you. Just in time.
Bright yellow. These are our Morgan beards, all right. Well, I've gone to this much trouble. There's something familiar about this scent. It reminds me of home. Hmm. Hopefully this will be enough. I've had my fill of goblins. All right. Well, that's that. So let's go and see if we can find... So I'm assuming it's going to be somewhere in this area, or I'm trying to see if I can see it from here. I don't actually remember which one it was. I believe, I believe it was the uh, Good girl. the automaton looking creature. It's kind of funny to me that chocobos are actually enemies. You know, they can be. Not seeing anything. Maybe somewhere back there. No. Those are crabs. Let's head back this way. Go around, I guess. I didn't see anything deeper this way, but I could have missed something. I mean, there are some ruins over here. Because this is the Sarawise. Uh, they're probably going to have to be up in that... Kind of... Yeah, it's not going to be around here. It'd be... It'd be somewhere, like, with a decent-sized battlefield. Maybe up at the church? No. No. No way. Yeah, like that right there looks like a... That right there looks like a battlefield. Like a decent battlefield, so let's try that area. Let's try that area. But you'd typically be able to see it. Nothing. No, okay, that's fine. Sorry, this is gonna take me a second. I'm not I'm not using a guide to say, hey, this is exactly where it is. I don't see the point in doing that. But maybe I should. But this is looking more promising, all these uh, broken ruins. Right? There we are. There it is. Thanks, Gal. Yeah, that's it right there. Hello, friend. Are you prepared to die? Still a hit. Yeah. 
Ooh, that was really, really close. Oh, that was almost too close. Hey, we got some Electrum, though. Nice. And the ruins you came, and to ruin it returns. Oh, man, that was... Whew, that was rough. All right, well... Back to Martha's Rest we go. Jeez. <laughs> I was not expecting that. That was that thing did a lot of damage. I think that's what got me, was just how much damage it was doing. Now we gotta use some of our hard-earned gill. How do you? Thanks very much. There you go. Thanks very much. Uh, what is our health at? In town it doesn't... Okay, so we're pretty low. Okay, there we go. And now we'll stock back up. Anything catch your eye? There you go. Much obliged. Alright, that's that. Now we can head off. To, we have one more Notorious Mark. Shouldn't be as hard. It's a Minotaur, so... There's gonna be some different... It's gonna have some different moves, but it's still just a, it's still just a Minotaur. I hope. So we need to go... Into here. Go that way, just gotta grab this real quick. Okay, not what I thought it was, but that that's fine.
Oops, wrong one. Come on. Go away. I'm not interested. The Minotaur should be in here somewhere. Or I guess probably down this way. Hey, there we are. You deserve a rest. Alright. At least with this one we can take the fight a little bit more. I don't know, it's not as mobile. Right? So. Oh wait. That's not it. That is not the Minotaur. Oh come on. Again, not what I thought. I, mean, I see a Minotaur, I'm like, oh, Minotaur, but that, nope, not the right one. Let's see. It'd have to be in this area, right? Oh, I can't go that way. Okay. Well, let's see. So maybe... Probably up, up in the back. Time to fight. It's probably up in this area. No, see, that's broken hilt. Be safe. That's broken hilt. Oh, because I went right by it. That's not right. Hold on. I need to not be on the. It has to be down there, right? I was thinking maybe it's over there. Yeah, it would have to be, right? But how am I supposed to... I'm just gonna... Yeah. I mean, it has to be in this area, right? Well, if I don't find it, I might... Ha it, you know what? You know what? It is most likely... Could it be that area? Because I've went through most of this, and I would have seen it, right? Hmm. 
and I haven't seen it, so that's a little disappointing, but maybe we won't get to fight it today. That's fine, I guess. Let's see if I can get a better vantage point. Because that's not in the same area. And they don't let us go in water. Hmm. Well, if I don't if I don't find it, I'm gonna not much more I can really check. Cause this goes that's actually broken hilt. It would have to be in this area, down down below, where we fought the other Minotaur. It would have to be in here. This is the only other, like, open area. Because... Is that it? Not what I meant to do. Nope, that is not it, that is not it. That's a Minotaur we've already fought. That is a Drake over there. No, I guess not. Okay. So I'm assuming it's probably... Yeah, for whatever... Yeah, for some reason, it's most likely over there. I don't know, this one I might look up, but I guess we'll be saving it for the next time. For the uh, next time we do do one of these. That's fine. Back to the hideaway we go to turn in these quests, and then we'll wrap it up. And then we'll wrap it up for today. Clive, sorry again for sending you all that way, but you did get my order, didn't you? Don't worry. I have it. I believe this will more than satisfy your needs. <laughs> Let's see here. One bolt of red, one bolt of blue. What's this? I don't recall ordering any silk or velvet or... Is this gold work? Gregor's ghost. If that devil of a draper expects me to pay for these. You needn't worry on that score, Hortense. They were a gift. For services rendered. I can always return them if you like. Oh no. Oh, there's no need to be hasty now, Clive. I'm <laughs> sure I can put all three to good use. Speaking of which, which one's most to your liking? Hmm? I don't know. Uh what? Lush red velvet, white continental silk, black embroidered linen. I'd say lush red velvet, personally. I like, I like, um, like in my own clothing, I, I like red, so. This one, I suppose. Have a mind to give a piece to Jill? Oh. Did you know she's quite the little seamstress? <laughs> I know Needlecraft was amongst her lessons at the castle. Her lessons? Oh, that's right. The two of you were raised together in Rosalith, weren't you? Not quite together, but when my father put down the uprising in the Northern Territories, Jill was taken as a ward to ensure that her father, the Silvermane, would keep the peace. She's an honest to goodness. Interesting. Then, isn't she? I could tell, you know. Some people just had that air about them. Not many round here, mind. I'd offered to sew her something that might better suit her station. But she'd most likely turn me down, as she always does. Tell me not to waste the fabric when it's better used on the children. Don't take it the wrong way. She certainly seems to be attached to the last outfit you made her. Oh. <laughs> Sometimes I think she never takes it off. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Perhaps she'll make something for herself with your gift. Either way, I'm sure she won't turn it down. We'll see, I suppose. That's a nice little joke that we don't change our outfits in-game. We just 
you know, it just doesn't happen. I love that. I love that little joke. Nice. So that is that. There's one thing I wanted to check before I have to go about. I have to go this way anyway. Um, we did pick up some Electrum. Clive. So. What's that for you, let's dear? see. I can. I can make the belts. I cannot make the bracelets because they need gelatinous mass. But I can make this, which is a severe upgrade. Well, severe-ish. 8 and 18. Yeah, let's go ahead and do this. Electrum, I know you can... Electrum, I know, is something you can... Uh, that you can... Um, it's not coming to me. Farm. That you can farm. So, yeah, let's go ahead and make this. It'll last you a good while. Yeah, that's nice. Can I reinforce it? I don't think so, because it's purple. Most of the time, purple, you can't reinforce that. Anything else? Nice. Nice little boost to our to our equipment. I'm a little, I'm still a little miffed about the uh, about the Minotaur. Maybe I maybe I misread where it was. Either way, if I if I misread, I'll check back to see where it is, where it should be. But I'm pretty sure I was in the right location. It's rare that we see you so often in the backyard, Sid. What brings you to the gardens? I found your flowers. Yes, yes, wonderful. These are almost identical to the plates in my tongue. Did you have any trouble locating them? Finding them was the easy part, but it's odd. They remind me of my childhood somehow. I don't remember these flowers specifically, but you must have grown them in the castle garden. If the petals are meant to improve the effectiveness of medicines, it's possible that the core physicus grew them for the tinctures and treatments they made my brother. If the ducal healers were convinced of their properties, that is all the more reason to begin growing our own supply here. Oh, allow me to use some of the flowers you brought me to make something that might aid you on your travels. Oh? I need only a moment to extract the essence from the petals. A new elixir type thing, maybe? Maybe it's a really good thing we did this. And here we are. A phial of pure Morgan Beard extract. Okay. And a what? single drop added to any one of your restoratives will increase its potency. At least I hope it will. So does that mean all of our, our our potions and high potions heal more now? I assume that's what that means. I could be wrong, but I don't think I am. And we got to level up. Very nice. So what is this? Ah, nice. Add, adding but a drop. So yeah, necessary for increasing consumable potency. Very nice. Very nice. I like that a lot, because I was starting to get to the point where like potions don't heal enough, in my opinion. So that's very nice. That is very nice. So you have obtained a vial of Morgan Beard extract, hereby increasing the potency of most consumables. Both potions and high potions now restore more HP, while strength, stone skin, and lion heart tonics last longer. Oh my God! Very nice. I wonder, I wonder will it actually tell us how much, uh, 24% and 48%. So it increased it by 20% because originally that restored, that restored 20, 20% of your HP. Now it restores 24 and that I believe re restored 40%. It was just a double on that one. So that's actually not bad. One will refill us almost a half. That goes to 99 seconds, and that goes to 66 seconds. So those increased by 10%. Is what those went by. So I'm assuming we'll probably have more side quests that'll increase the potency further, perhaps. But that makes sense. Yeah. Any so any side quest that has a plus sign next to it is going to be increasing, um, 
increasing things about you, like that one. Like I said, increased potency of consumables. One gave us our mount. And I believe one of them is what is what increased Torgal's normal attack and lifting attack to you know level two. They were at level one. Because his pedigree increases as you go through the game. So very nice. Well, hmm. Yeah, I do. Oh. Okay. I'm trying to decide where at. Oof, wow, we're at 52 minutes. We're at 52 minutes. So, yeah, I do believe. I do believe this is where we are going to wrap it up for today. So, if you enjoyed this episode, which I sincerely hope you did, please feel free to hit that thumbs up button down below and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date for when we post new content. And don't forget to let me know your thoughts about the episode in the comment section down below. But other than that, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you all next time.